Welcome back, Fish and Freaks. We are going to be doing a good old fashioned bank dangle today. It's time for some catfish, man. Catfish are moving up around the banks. They usually spawn in May. It's a great time to just get out there with a couple of poles, get that rod bent, and get some good dinner. The interesting way that we are going to be, uh, the mode of transportation today is we're going to take a bike. Not just any bike, though. We're going to be taking my, my Baku e-bike. This thing is actually rigged up to go hunting right now. The way I've built it, I've got a, um, a mount in the front for a bow or a pew-pew. I've also got it rigged in the back with a small platform so I can mount things. I can strap a deer to it, whatever. So I could actually take the cart. I could take the meat wagon, but the spot that I'm wanting to go to... I can get all the way down there with the bike, with the gear, and then also I can I can move down the bank. I'm not sure how low the lake is, but I can move down the bank a little bit if the water's low enough where I can, you know, just ride around instead of having to hike around all the gear, just strap it on the bike and go. Before we get on the road, we have got to put the chickens away. You know, we have reduced our numbers. If you guys watched the last video, roosters tasted horrible. It was my bad cooking them up, I think. But anyway, we are down to seven chickens now. Can't be losing any. So we're going to put them up. These stormy days, these overcast days like this, for some reason we get predators, more predators that just come into the yard. It's like, I don't know, it triggers them to feed. So got to call them in. Look, Colonel already knows. He already knows. And a little update for you guys on the incubation. We got we got one laying egg right now that's my australor but the frizzle right there she is she is still sitting on the eggs so she's sitting on a dozen eggs she only comes out for about 30 minutes to an hour today to feed and get some water and then she goes right back in there she's incubating just like a good mother should Whoa, right there Right there, I just saw a carp. There's a carp right there. Two of them. Oh my gosh. I could literally go get my boat. Oh my gosh, there's more carp right here. Oh my gosh. Guys, I could go get my bow right now and start slinging arrows. All right, so just got down here on the bike. Awesome ride. <clears throat> Forgot our pack. This is a beautiful setup to do some bank fishing. Conditions are good. There is not a whole lot of wind, but man, just seeing these carp right here, I'm like, God, I should get some dough balls. I should try to catch these things or just boom, poke them. They're right here in front of me. I literally could have just netted one. They're still here. A snake right here. So much life. So much life happening. Look at the snake. Sneaky snake. It's just an element that you get when you're bank fishing that you just don't get in the boat. It smells the little things. You know what I mean? <clears throat> So the spot I'm in, it's not far from my home. I've caught some catfish here before. I've, I've never carp fish here, but I think it's a good idea. Uh, but th there is some deep water that is out here. There's a channel that's probably, I don't know, 60, 70 yards out from the bank. So there's the opportunity to catch literally anything. A anything could swim up right here. Here's the gear that we're gonna be using today for catfishing. You know, it's basic. I'm looking for medium power rods, not, not catching like giant blue cats or anything, just channel cats, regular size catfish, you know, 12 to 20 inches long. Gonna be using those little, little SpongeBob dudes. Things that hold stink bait. This is a good time of year to, to throw that stink bait. So I've got the sponges and little, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm throwing these uh, finesse series in the two piece, the travel rods. So they're easy to break down. This is Catfish Blood B right here. Stinky, stinky stuff in the game. Let's get some goop on there and fling them out. This is the key to this kind of bait right here. You want to stick it in, submerge it all the way in there. Oh yeah. Spread some on top and then just pull it out slowly. Really goop it up. Nice and sticky. 
There we go. That's it right there. We've got a 3 8 ounce little egg weight on there. Just a swivel and 25 pound fluoro. Look at this. I mean, carp are literally, I could scoop them up with my hand right now. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I could spear them. I could hit them with a rock. Oh, get bit. All right, that rod's going. Fish on it. Oh, dang it. The rod was definitely it's getting schnookered. Oh, yeah. There she blows. There she blows. That one's getting bit already. It's getting bit. Look at it. It's getting tapped. I think there's one on there now. Yep, got him. There we go. I mean, it was like right away. As soon as it hit bottom. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is that a turtle? Soft shell turtle. That would have eaten good. That would have eaten good, but it uh, came off. Not really seeing the carp anymore on the shore. I guess they moved moved off to the bank. If I had me some dough bait right now. That would be a good call too. So we're gonna switch up to one of these babies. There we go. All right, I think we're getting just turtles. Turtles, turtle alert. Rock and roll. Uh, get her out there. There she blows. We have to put a heavier weight on too. Get his hefty chop. Clean. Oh my gosh, my sponge got eaten off this one too. These turtles are eating my sponge. softy got him right in the face I got him upside down here Ooh, man you do feel you do feel pretty tasty I'll try to let you go feller but it does have my mind churning probably be better than Penny. Oh, God, you're strong, too. Mm. Wow. Don't break the rod. Oh, he's shot off like a Roman candle. That looks like a bite. Actual bite. Come on. something come on baby let's go don't be a turtle let's go be a little cat 
Kitty cat, here we go now. There she blows. That's my kitty cat right there now. Beautiful keeper. That's my kitty cat. There she is, beautifully hooked. Yes, sir, getting another bite. Probably a turtle. There we go. Got this one out. All right, we're gonna string her up real quick. Get three of these puppies and we got a dinner. There it is right there. Big deep boy. Turtle on, baby. Turtle on. Gosh. I'm out here just catching giant softies. Absolute dilly wapped here. On the catfish pole. We got two on. Oh! Catfish pole went cold. Dad coming. Oh my gosh, this thing weighs so much, guys. Man, what do I do here? I just had another catfish on that one, but I was messing around with this thing and. Uh, it distracted me. These things are just ruining my my hooks and my baits. I've heard they're good, but I have no idea how to clean them. It sounds like a process that I don't I don't really feel like doing today. But that's a that's a, like a trophy. Look at these claws right here. Oh my gosh! Those claws would maul you. Yep, just not getting that back. That's crazy. I'm sure I've caught ones ever that big. Figures it out here. There he goes. Oh, stuck. Hey now. Oh. Normally when I see one when I'm bass fishing, I'm like, hey, there's a soft shell turtle. It's like a cool animal to see. Uh, but right now I'm just I'm really not in love with them. Uh, not liking what they're doing to my to my baits just annoying so I just had another catfish on I lost it I'm gonna reel this in rebait it and then I've got to redo a whole nother rig here but seems like casting out a little farther I'm getting the catfish bites another soft shell I mean what are we doing here get out of here about to knock down my catfish holder here's the deal with the turtles man I'm sure they taste pretty good cook them properly but it's a reptile um, I'm not bringing home reptiles to my wife yeah this is kind of taken away from the fun of catfishing you know you throw it out there you sit maybe you crack a cold one just hang out wait for that rod to just start gyrating now I gotta be like on it, looking. Am I getting a turtle tap or am I getting a catfish tap? Turtle tap, turtle tap. Better pick it up, better reel it in before a turtle gets it. Guys, you just missed it. Please be on here. This, this fish just took my rod into the lake or this turtle. No, it's catfish, thank God. I mean, it took my rod into the water. I had to run out. I think it's a blue cat, yeah. Oh my God, that was crazy. That is too bad I did not get that on camera. But holy smokes. One of the coolest catfish bites I've ever had in my life right there. Absolutely tagged it and went running. Oh my God. Like that rod would have been gone, toast. Yes, sir. Nice, nice blue cat. Can't let you go, bud. 
Can't let you. That's gonna be a tasty one. That was worth all the, the turtle nonsense. My shoes are just completely wet. My GoPro, it's probably got water inside the housing. My shorts are wet. All right, there we go. There we go, guys. Whew. I saw like one little nibble like this, and then it just went boom, it shot over this bamboo right here that I had set up and just went. <laughs> went straight into the water. That one uh, blue cat right there pretty much makes up for catching two other little channels, but keep going here. I'd like to get more and freeze some if I can. Oh, yep, that looks like catfish might be taking this one right now. Catfish or a turtle? I got him. Whatever it is. Come on, baby. Feels like a cat. Let him feel that big. Oh my gosh. Another freaking turtle. It's a little turtle. Oh, he came off. Thank goodness. Got my hook back. What I need to do with this bike, I'm trying to save up a little money to buy like a. Uh, regular exercise mountain bike and uh, just turn this one into full hunting full fishing mode get some pvcs put them right here rig those up so it's just constantly ready to carry a load maybe uh i don't know attach a basket or something right here i've got got some holes i could do that with there's a lot of options Hopefully we'll just get one more, one more channel would be great. And we'll have plenty to eat. I just called OSG and she's gonna be a sweet angel and bring a little lunch delivery, maybe a couple cold pops and a cooler to put these fish in and we should be good to go for tonight. I know she wanted fish tonight. Uh, she had salmon as a backup. She didn't have much confidence in me. Caught me mid cleaning action. You said you want to come to the lake? I said, yeah, I'll put down the vacuum anytime to come down to the lake. Good day, got my little buddy here. Don't tell him what he's going to get into. Oh, he sees those fish. Oh. Throwing rocks at the fish. Oh, he's such a mini you. I think he's a mini me? Oh, he just looks like, I mean, he acts like me, but he's a mini you in disguise. Got his Lukenbach Texas shirt on. <laughs> Needs to be close Texas to mom. Boy. Needs to be close to mom. Well, yeah. if you're lucky, if you stick around long enough, you're gonna see a yeah. giant, giant turtle caught. Yeah. Yeah. Biggest key in life. Find you a great wife. That'll make you food. <laughs> uh, just a great wife. She'll make your life a lot easier, a lot better. All right, buddy's getting sleepy. Time to go home. Thank you so much for the meal. Um, yeah. Appreciate it. We might not end up with any more catfish. Two, I think, is good though. Yeah, we got one big and one small. Check, so, you want to do that out. tonight? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All my uh, lake glass. Oh, look and at, then. Look at what LSG found. Yeah. Some treasures. treasures. Hey, it's fun when you have so much of it because every time we come down. Oh, oh, here, oh, 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 oh. That rod's going. Babe, get it. Get it. This one right here. Something on it. Pull up on it. Pull up. Nothing there? No. It was just going. Maybe? It really didn't fast. Okay, maybe there is something. Ah! Did it pop off? Oh, Keep reeling. No, no, I don't know what's on there. I don't think anything's on there. No, I think it's not. No big deal. Appreciate the effort. That would have been fun. We'll load them up and head home. Bam. Hanging out in the backyard. Oh no! You're spraying me, buddy. You think that's funny? 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh! Amy's got a lizard! Is it, is it dead? Oh, get him! Babe! <laughs> what do you got there, sweetie? It's a lizard! Oh yeah, that's a green anole. Here, go me to. So, I'm going to let it go. Okay. I'm going to take a test for our water. Two methods that I know to clean catfish. You've got the skinning method, which I have mostly done. So it's more work. You get more out of the meat. Or you can do the floating fillet knife method, which is what I'm going to do on this channel catfish first. So, to start off, all right, so real sharp knife. We'll make that kind of outline towards the belly there I'm not cutting very deep so let's push into there push into there we're going to just hang on sweetheart give me a little room stand stand right over here all right now we're gonna cut into there push into there as Emmy says I'm gonna go down the spine what I mean push down that means push lower so past the rib cage, we're gonna follow that spine. Okay. All right. So now we have the catfish filleted, flopped over, skin still on right here. Okay. Then we're gonna take the fillet knife, just like we would, you know, white bass or crappie, and we're gonna stick it down there, close to the skin, but not quite on the skin. Just real sharp flexible knife and float it just above the oh. skin. I know learn. Yeah, you're learning. So, when okay. I walk, I'm going to do that one day. So that skin is just flopping off right there. We did that one really well because it's almost just bare skin. It's just a hair bit of meat on there and we have a, a beautiful filet. And that took a lot less time than the other method that I'm gonna, gonna do next. I'm gonna just feel with my finger until I feel where that muscle start uh, stops and that bone starts. Taking a real sharp little knife. I mean, you could use like a very thin pocket knife if you wanted to, just something extremely sharp. Filet knife's a little flimsy and I like to save, um, save my sharpness on the filet knife. Anyway, so I just use a separate one. And I'm just gonna go in here just a little bit. You gotta go around the spine, around that uh, dorsal fin, I mean. Come back to the spine. And I'm going in just a little bit, tracing out the filet. Don't wanna open up the skin too much. So, now, <clears throat> What we're going to do is take our little grabbers, our skin grabbers, and if we trace this out right, then we shouldn't pull off much meat, and the skin should just come right off where we traced. It's pretty good. Did a pretty decent job there. There's no meat on that right there. No meat, and in fact, there's just a little bit of skin still on the, the flesh right here. I've never had a problem eating this. Can't really tell. Um, but there's just that little white sheen right there. Trace that spine down. Try to get as close to it as you can so you don't miss the meat. And then you can pop through to the other side. And that is a big old filet right there. That's gonna be nice. And it's some beautiful, beautiful blue cat meat right there, guys. This is our house round dinner time. Oh, these are actually. Oh, here, take a watch them. I took a cracker that was a tomato and sun. Sun. I can't even think. Sun roasted tomato and basil. Cracker. Use the uh, food processor made a nice crumb. All right, we get the idea. Oh, if anybody's out there, got a child thinking about having another one, I'd say go for it. But it is. Uh, I guess they can't 
It's next level. Let's get an OSG approval. Which one did you get? One of the big fillets? <clears throat> I just kind of took the two small ones. Okay, you got the channel cat. Mm hmm. Is that better or worse? Like, how much fat does it have? Is it. Uh, I mean, fatty or not? They're both fatty? really good. Taste is definitely there. I think I messed up by like drizzling some olive oil on top. Well, Shouldn't have done that. that. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. Because it makes it extra mushy. Dad's gonna have a try that blue cat. Mmm! A little bit of corn for some starch, some mixed veggies. OSG hooked it up with some wild rice on top of it. I love it. And just a nice little crusting, a little cracker crusting on it. Absolutely love the way a catfish just breaks apart. How you can just fork it, it breaks apart. It's just a, a great meat texture. That was worth all the turtles. This is amazing. Boys, catfish are good. Could eat those suckers every week. You know, took some of y'all's advice on, on some of the tips for growing things. Um, I do have the tomatoes strung up right now. So they're strung up on the trellis. So that's gonna help. I'm gonna get those babies. I've, I've trimmed them up quite a bit. I've trimmed them up a lot, actually. So we are getting some air down there. We're breathing. And hopefully, midsummer, we're going to have some juicy tomatoes. Here's what bugged me about today. The turtles, yes. Also, the amount of carp. The amount of carp in these lakes around here is just ridiculous. Uh, and I asked you guys if you would tune into a, a carp stabbing video, and a lot of you said you would. So I'm going to try to do that. Crispy Collector needs a little TLC, but while I have the opportunity here, I gotta, I'm gonna get away from some of that rocky bank and, and go searching tomorrow on the Baku with the bow. Thank you guys for watching today. I'll be back with another vid soon.